Protein sparing modified fast is basically eating protein and some micronutrients and keeping the energy as low as possible. And the idea is you eat the protein and micronutrients to support your lean mass and all your all your other functions that require micronutrients, but you keep any energy, carbs or fat, as low as possible. So you have to run your whole metabolism off of stored body fat. This is very painful and it's not fun, but you will lose a ton of weight very rapidly. It's probably the single best way to lose weight rapidly and safely. We do it with bariatric patients all the time. It becomes dangerous if you're trying to do this long-term, if you're really, really thin. And you'll see bodybuilders um, before they get on stage, their protein is extremely high, you know, maybe two or 300 grams of protein, but they're very, maybe low carb and low fat. It's not fun. And you, your body does not like you drawing down your fat reserves this rapidly and this much. So it's, it's usually something that people can only do maybe a week at a time before they have to do some sort of fat or carb refeed a little bit, you know what I mean? And you can't do that indefinitely if you're very lean. And the important thing to know is this protein to energy concept is infinitely scalable and anyone can use it to progress their diet. Like you mm -hmm. could just look at the diet you've got. And somewhere in there, up the protein and micronutrients, mostly minerals, and decrease some sort of luxury energy calories like carbs or fats that you might not necessarily need. And you could probably change your body composition and improve it. So you wouldn't have to necessarily get extreme about it. You could just make some little tweaks. This is something someone could do more gradually, too, with the same concept. It's like you're just headed towards a protein sparing modified fast, even if you're not really doing the full on protein only. Problem with just not eating or just drinking juice, like giving yourself a little bit of glucose, um, the outcome of all of that type of dieting is the same. You're going to lose equal amounts of fat mass and lean mass. Like it's really 50-50. If you just stop eating or you just eat a couple hundred calories of juice every day, you're gonna lose fat mass and lean mass equally. And that is not good. And you're, you're going to be hungry. You're going to lose lean mass. And you might not set your set point lower. You might regain all your fat and maybe or maybe not regain your lean mass. And you probably haven't reset your body's set point, you know, this sort of weight that your body wants you to be at. Well, first of all, your whole goal is to get the highest lean mass and the lowest fat mass that you possibly can because you're, then you're going to be the most insulin sensitive and you're going to have the most metabolic flexibility. This is kind of the, the ultimate goal, right? Highest lean mass, lowest fat mass. And the way you achieve that is make sure you're eating plenty of protein and minerals and micronutrients so you have everything you need for lean mass and then just eating less energy when people go on these diets where they cut down all the macros together, you know, if you're just like, okay, I'm going to keep eating cheeseburgers and fries, just less of it. Well, now you've gone from your protein was probably too low to begin with to your protein's really too low to be, and you're going to lose lean mass and you're probably going to regain all your weight when you're done eating that way because you're going to be starving.